This is Laura, and as you can tell, she has beautiful, beautiful hair. It's pretty porous because it is curly and it's gray. So what we're gonna do with your hair, Laura, is I'm going to use the products in the Rich and Radiant collection because that's the products that are better suited for hair that needs more moisture and curl enhancement and definition. So yeah, I'm going to wash with the hair cleansing cream, condition with Touche, and then style with Rock and Ringlets and Confident Coils. Cool. You ready to get going? Yeah. All right. Okay, Laura, I'm gonna wash your hair with the hair cleansing cream. And it's a really, really gentle cleanser, so it doesn't do that thing that you might have experienced with other shampoos where you wash your hair and then it's fluffy and puffy for three days. It won't do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, on your hair I'm using the Touche conditioner because it's really moisturizing without being really heavy and greasy. So it'll make it softer and springier, but it won't weigh it down with heaviness. Cool. <laughs> now that I've got your hair all saturated in the Touche conditioner, I'm detangling it with a wide tooth comb. And the only time you want to comb your hair is when it's coated in conditioner. Partly because that's when it's easiest to get the comb through. And you don't want to comb it once you've already styled it because that'll actually make it frizzy and pull out the curl. And you definitely don't want to brush it. Okay, now that we've got Laura's hair all detangled and conditioned, we're gonna add the styling products. And as you can tell, her hair is soaking soaking wet, and that is intentional. Um, terry cloth is really frizz causing for curly hair, so that's why you haven't seen me touch it with anything even close to a towel. And wrapping it in a turban the way people do really disrupts the curl pattern. So we're not doing either of those. We're applying the styling products to soaking wet hair because that really helps eliminate frizz later on. So I raked through the first puddle of rock and ringlets, and now I'm gonna scrunch in the second. As you can see, the curls are already really starting to come out. And yep, yeah, it's wet. But you would do this in the shower, so it's really easy to clean it up after. Now I'm gonna add a puddle of confident coils. Rockin' Ringlets is very curl enhancing, so it increases the boing factor. And confident coils is very curl defining, so it creates those individual ringlets that you see happening. As I said, you don't want to use terry cloth on your hair, and that's why we sell the magical microfiber towel. And microfiber is a much more absorbent fabric than terry cloth, and it also doesn't cause frizz. So as you can see, instead of wrapping it up in a turban or fluffing it all around and frizzing it out, I'm gently squeezing the water out of her hair while also at the same time creating the curls. Now that we've added the styling products to her soaking wet hair, scrunched it with a towel, it's time to start diffusing. And you never want to use a hair dryer without a diffuser on the end. So it's going to start. Oh my god, Laura, your hair's going to be amazing. <laughs> totally. I'm all done diffusing Laura's hair. As you can tell, I didn't go all the way with it. It's about 75% dry because if I did keep going at this point, we would just start creating frizz. So we're going to air dry for the rest of the way, probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes. And during that time, please don't touch your hair. Please don't let anybody else touch your hair because that will make it frizzy. And we'll be back to scrunch it out and do the reveal. Laura's been air drying her hair for the last half an hour to 45 minutes. It's all the way dry now. You can see she's, she's lacking a little volume. So what we're gonna do is flip your head over and I'm going to scrunch it out and she'll have touchably soft curls that are gonna stay well-defined throughout the rest of the day, even if you go on a motorcycle. I'm not suggesting you go on a motorcycle. Well, that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> can you flip forward for me? All, all the way, yeah, 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 and shake it, yeah. I don't know why I'm demonstrating because you can't see me. <laughs> So when you scrunch, you want to be nice and gentle. Just sort of do an open palm, gentle squeeze. You don't want to be too aggressive with your hair. But you can see it's really bringing the curls out and it's really pumping up her volume. If you want to avoid 
pumping up your volume, you would just do the scrunching with your head upright and not flipped over. But my philosophy is bigger the better when it comes to curly hair. You might have noticed. <laughs> All right. And if you could flip back for me and do the shake. And I'm just gonna give her a little more volume in the sides here. Oh, Laura, <laughs> your hair looks awesome, <laughs> seriously. As you can see, Laura's hair is all scrunched out. She's got amazing definition, amazing volume. I think it looks amazing. Uh, clearly, I think it looks amazing. I can't stop saying that. But Laura, I've known you for a while. I see you all the time. I've never seen your hair look like this before. Well, that's because I was never done by you. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think? Do you like it? Uh, Oh yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> it's it really. I've never seen it look like that before, and I've always loved your hair. Yeah, I love my hair too, but I needed you to show me the way. <laughs> <laughs> I am Laura, and I have the right to remain curly. 